Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And as you guys know, or may know, uh, I, I have spent a lot of time in Florida. I actually went to college in Central Florida at the uh, University of Central Florida. And so because of that, I've spent a ton of time on uh, you know chains of lakes in that state, uh, such as the Kissimmee chain and the Harris chain. And today, because there's a lot of tournaments that are going to be held on the Harris chain coming up pretty soon, uh, and it's a very popular spot for people to travel to, uh, I, w I figured I'd do a real quick video on my three favorite baits to use on the Harris chain. And this is, this, these, these techniques will work all year round, but especially in, in January, February, and March, these are the baits that are definitely going to uh, help you find fish and also capitalize on you know fish in a certain area. So let's get started. The first um, category of baits that I love throwing on the Harris chain has got to be lipless crankbaits. Very, very popular on the Harris chain this time of year. The Harris chain is full of, of uh, shell beds and also you know offshore grass. So lots of eelgrass, lots of hydrilla, uh, and you know some other different types of grass too. But those are the two primary ones that the fish tend to, to hang around. And lipless crankbaits are just really good tools for you know uh, using as search baits to find the areas where the fish are kind of congregating. And so. You know, some of the ones that I really like for the Harris chain are like this Strike King Red Eye Shad. If we can, there we go, focus in on there. Um, this one right here is actually a, a bait that I've caught a lot of fish on. You can see it's kind of in rough shape. This is a Sexy Shad Gold Finish, which is probably my all-time favorite Florida color. Um, this one right here is the, the silent version. Uh, I actually, you know, will switch from the silent version to, you know, like the, the uh, two tap or you know just the traditional ones um, you know experiment with it a little bit and of course i've replaced the hooks with the hayabusa 930 the tbl 930s um, because you know and and these are two watts so i've actually upsized on the hooks so that kind of increases my my hooking percentage and I, I do that with pretty much all the other um, lipless crankbaits that I use. But the red eye shad works really good. That that is a really good color. Also, just regular sexy shad uh, chrome, uh, sexy shad. If it's a cloudy day, uh, you know, just something that's a little bit more opaque. Uh, so that sexy shad kind of white whitish coloration that works really good in those low visibility situations and dirtier water. Uh, the other bait that I really like to throw on the Harris chain is the Aruku shad. Okay, this is a this is a very popular bait in Florida, a lipless crankbait. And it's been that way since before I even moved back to Florida to, to learn how to bass fish down there on the grassy lakes. Uh, the Ruku Shad was, you know, a major player. This color right here, I don't know what this is called, but, you know, in general, these Florida fish love this kind of like uh, chrome belly with a blue back. You know, that's a really popular, uh, you know, color in Florida in general. So, uh, and I know that the Ruku Shad comes in, uh, you know, several different colors that are very similar to this. But yeah, so the Ruku Shad is, is a, a really good one. Um, but yeah, the lipless crankbait is, is really a, a, a good, great tool for covering those, those uh, submergent grass flats. So uh, on a lot of, of the areas that you're gonna find on, on the Harris chain, you've got these grass flats that are, you know, the grass is growing anywhere from, you know, the deepest I think would be about 10 foot. You know, there's some, some lakes on the chain like Beauclair and Griffin, the grass will grow out out into the, the middle of the lake uh, because of the water clarity and also the, just the average depth. And, uh, and so the lipless crankbait is really good for covering water quickly to find fish. But it's also one of the key baits that you're gonna use to be able to, to uh, you know, uh, to capitalize on those spots too. So like, you know, catch as many fish as you can out of a spot. So um, lipless crankbaits, big tool. And just so you guys know, all of these baits I'm going to uh, put links in the description below for uh, 44tackle.com. If you use those links to purchase this tackle, you get 10% off of your order. So make sure that you do that if you're interested in buying all this. And uh, I'm also going to add all the rods, reels, and line, just so we don't have to go over them in the video. But they're going to be in the description below for each of these techniques. 
Um, all right, so the next bait is also another reaction style bait, a bait that, that you're really going to be covering a lot of water with. And this one's not gonna be a surprise to you guys. The chatterbait. Chatterbait is definitely one that you want to throw on the Harris chain. The difference between fishing a chatterbait on the Harris chain and other lakes in Florida that I've found is the fact that the, uh, I like to use more shad colored uh, um, you know, patterns. Like if I go to, to Okeechobee or the, the Kissimmee chain, I'm usually throwing like green pumpkin or something that imitates a bluegill or a golden shiner or something like that. But on the Harris chain, they love eating shad. There's a, there's a lot of, a, a, there's a huge population of shad in those lakes. And so I'm usually fishing something like this or like a pearl, um, you know, those are some of my favorites. Uh, the spot remover is a really good color. This one right here. And, uh, and so, and then I pair, um, it, you know, I use a trailer that, that pairs well with that shad coloration. So usually in, in Florida, I'm gonna be using this, um, this diesel minnows trailer. This is a really good one. And uh, so this, this color, this is pretty solid. This is a pretty uh, solid combo for the Harris chain. Obviously you can experiment, you can use bluegill colored uh, patterns, but there is a huge sat shad population, which is different than some of the other lakes down there in Florida. So I'll throw white more often than I throw anything else on the Harris chain. But um, as far as like weights of chatterbaits, I like to use usually a half ounce. Half ounce seems to be the perfect size for the Harris chain because you're usually fishing these grass flats uh, uh, that are, you know, five, six foot deep. And that half ounce version gets you down, you know, a, a good bit and allows you to, to cover water and keep it in that strike zone. So half ounce version, of course you can change it up depending on the, the areas that you're fishing. But the chatterbait is my choice when there's more, uh, there's more grass. You know, the lipless crankbait goes through grass really well, but there's a lot of times that a chatterbait is gonna be much more efficient. You know, it's not gonna get snagged in the grass as much. It's gonna be able to free itself up uh, in the grass. And so if you're around thicker cover, um, maybe the, the, the eelgrass has those little like, you know, tendrils that come out, out of it, uh, you know, tendrils. I, I know that's probably not the, the correct term for it, but you know what I'm talking about. There's those little stringy uh, pieces that come out of the, uh, the eelgrass. I guess it's juvenile eelgrass or something like that. But uh, those tend to get snagged on, on baits with treble hooks like the lipless crankbait. Chatterbait does a whole lot better job. So they can be interchangeable, the lipless crankbait and the chatterbaits. Uh, but to me, you want to have both on the Harris chain. They allow you to cover a lot of water, which is one of the biggest keys fishing that chain of lakes because the fish are going to congregate in, you know, certain areas, you know, all of it looks good, but there's going to be like some key little sweet spots, you know, the stuff that we call the juice, um, where those fish are going to be, you know, grouped up and you can, sometimes catch them every single cast, making the same exact cast. So those reaction baits are gonna help you find those, those fish, but they can also be your primary bait to, to you know, uh, catch as many fish as possible. The next bait that I wanna talk about, I was, I was debating whether or not um, to, to add a couple more, but, but really I think that these three baits are, are gonna get you uh, great results. And so I wanted to focus on just doing three. But this next one is a, a, a category of, of uh, soft plastics that I really don't talk about all that much because you know it's a very simple design. And that is like a finesse worms design or like a trick worm or something like that. This right here is the Z-Man finesse worms. This is the seven inch version. And on the Harris chain, I don't know why, I have no idea exactly why, but this profile, this small, unassuming, you know, thin seven inch worm, that, that finesse worm profile catches more fish than just, just about any other soft plastic bait out there. And I use it in a variety of ways. So I like to, to use these baits either in like black and blue like this one. June Bug is a really good one. Um, with some brands they have a, a color called like black grape. That one's a really good one, but in, in general, it's just a, a dark colored uh, straight tail worm like this. So the ways that I like to fish this bait is number one, flipping. 
that's a that's a bizarre bait to to be pitching and flipping around you know emergent grass but on the harris chain all the lakes are lined with you know kissimmee grass and pads and and reeds and flipping a straight tail worm like that is one of the best ways to catch uh you know fish in that cover um i'm usually using like a you know three sixteenth or quarter ounce weight uh 50 pound braid and uh, just trying to you know get it in those little pockets of those holes in the grass and I, I prefer that straight tail worm over like a creature bait that i normally would be pitching and flipping because it just it just seems to get more bites and i catch a lot of fish doing it and so that's one way i'll present the uh, the finesse worms another way is on a shaky head so if i have you know a clean bottom maybe it's a shell bed or something like that uh, which there's a bunch of those on the harris chain i'll fish it on a a shaky head um but Probably the most popular way to present a worm like this finesse worms is on a Carolina rig. And on the Harris chain, I, so many fish have been caught on a Carolina rig. And usually I'm using, I'm, I'm kind of modifying it a little bit differently than I would a, a fishing another, a Carolina rig on another lake. Usually I'm using a three, a three quarter ounce weight on my Carolina rigs, but on, in Florida, I'm usually using like a three eighths ounce or a half ounce, okay? And it's something a little bit lighter. Number one, we're fishing shallower water uh, and also we're fishing around grass. And sometimes when you have a heavier weight, you tend to get bogged down in the grass a little bit more. So I lighten it up with like a three eighths ounce weight. Uh, and of course, with all those different techniques, you want a, a good hook. This one right here is what I like to use is, is usually the 3 uh, WRM 959. You can pitch with that one. You can use a Carolina rig with that one. Uh, you can, you can do, do just about anything with that hook and the uh, finesse worms. But yeah, and you could also, you know, Texas rig. You could do just a plain Texas rig if you're fishing like just just hydrilla you know you're fishing hydrilla offshore you know a texas rig is going to be one of your best bets but uh man there's there's a few baits that are are as simple but catch uh catch more fish on the harris chain than the straight tail worm and in general in florida that's that straight tail worm works really good but Anyways, guys, again, all the tackle that I'm gonna be using with these techniques are in the description below. And again, if you use those links, you'll get 10% off your order. Uh, this, these, these three baits, man, these are, are guaranteed just killers down on the Harris chain. So uh, I know that if you guys tie some of these on and you go fishing on the Harris chain, you're gonna catch some fish. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, enjoy Florida, and I'll see you out on the water.